All right, people. Well, I thought for practice, we could create a sort of calculator program. We can pick two numbers, we can add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. So let's get started. This will be just a very simple project. I'm going to write just calculator program when we begin this program, and then maybe, I don't know, format it a little bit. Let's add some, I don't know, dashes or something just to kind of make this look nice. This will all be within the console. Okay, so we'll need to declare num1, num2, and a result. These will be doubles. Double num1. I'll set this equal to zero. Let's create num2. And result. Double result. And I will set that equal to zero as well. Okay, we will need to ask for some user input. Console, the right line. Enter number one colon space, and then we will assign num1 equals, so user inputs always a string, we'll need to convert this to a double, convert dot to double. And within the parentheses, we need console dot read line method. Okay, let's do the same thing for num2. Enter number two num2 equals convert dot to double pass in console dot read line now we need the user to type in an option do they want to add subtract multiply or divide so let's type enter an option console dot right line again what about plus colon space add then minus colon space, subtract, asterisk for multiply, and forward slash for divide. You can add other options if you want to. Okay, let's take a look at this so far. So we have calculator program, enter number one, what about 3.14, enter number two, uh, let's say, I don't know, five. Okay, a couple things I'm going to change real quick. I'm going to change this right line to just right. Then I'm going to add a tab escape sequence. That is backslash T for tab. Just so that it looks better. Okay, let's continue. So I'm going to create a switch that will read our user input switch console dot read line and we need matching cases case plus so if somebody would like to add we will take our result equals num1 plus num2 console dot write line and i'll do some string interpolation your result colon space num1 plus num2 equals plus result and then we need to break out of this case okay let's do the same thing with minus case minus result equals num1 minus num2 num1 minus num2 and that's all we need then we need multiply case asterisk result equals num1 times num2 replace minus with asterisk and then divide case forward slash for division Result equals num1 divided by num2, and replace the asterisk here. And then we should probably add a default case, just in case somebody doesn't pick one of these options. Default console.write line. That was not a valid option. And then break. Enter number one. 3.14, enter number two, uh, let's say 6.9, point nine. 
and I would like to multiply these. So I will add an asterisk. 3.14 times 6.9 equals 21.666. All right, I'm just gonna change one thing. I'm going to add one line right before we read our user's input for what operation they would like to use. So let's add console dot right, not right line, enter an option. Then let's try it again. 3.14 multiplied by 6.9 is 21.666. Okay, now what if somebody would like to continue using this calculator? So what we'll do is place all of this code within a do while loop. I'm not sure if I discussed this in the past, but a do while loop will always execute a body of code once and then it checks the condition at the end. So let's add that here. So we have do at the top, then we need our while with condition. While. All right, now before this, let's ask for some user input. Console.writeline. Would you like to continue? Capital Y equals yes, capital N equals no. And then we will read some user input. So within the while loop, the condition, this will be console.readline dot to upper. So in case they type in lowercase y or n, we'll just change it to uppercase via the to upper method. And let's check to see if this is equal to y. If it is, then we'll reset our num1, num2, and result variables and do this all over again. And if they would not like to continue, let's write bye. Okay, let's try this again. What is 3.14 divided by two? So enter number one, 3.14, enter number two, two, and let's divide these. The result is 1.57. Let's type y for yes. All right, then we can do this all over again. What is five divided by 3.14? So I will divide. And the result is 1.59 something, something, something. Would you like to continue? I'm going to type n for no, bye. So yeah, that's a very simple calculator program in C Sharp. I will post this code in the comment section down below. If you can, give this video a thumbs up, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.